Today, we're going to learn the common symptoms of a malfunctioning catalytic converter. So if you suspect that your catalytic converter is going bad and you're still unsure about it, then this video will surely help you. A catalytic converter or CAT is found in vehicle exhaust systems and is used to reduce harmful emissions by converting them into safer gases for the environment. It's important in modern vehicles, particularly those powered by internal combustion engines running on gasoline or diesel fuel. Typically, you can find the catalytic converter near the engine at the front part of the exhaust system in your car. Your car's catalytic converter isn't just an important part of your car, but also for the environment. So, knowing the signs when it's going bad can help you get it checked and replaced quickly. So now let's take a look at the 10 most common signs that it might be time for a new one. Number one, poor engine performance. When your catalytic converter starts to fail, you might notice a drop in engine performance. Your car might feel like it's lost some power, struggle to speed up or have trouble maintaining its pace. This happens because the converter gets clogged or damaged, which slows down the exhaust flow and makes your engine run in difficulty. Let me break it down for you. Try to take a deep breath and hold it. You feel uncomfortable, right? That's what a clogged cat feels like. It's the same when you sprint around with a mask on. It's tough to exhale with a restricted airflow, which is the same with a dirty catalytic converter. When your cat gets clogged up, the exhaust gases can't escape properly, and they end up stuck in the combustion chamber instead of flowing out like they should. This messes with the air-fuel ratio, which prevents the perfect combustion your engine needs to run smoothly. Number two, failed emissions test. When your catalytic converter is damaged or clogged, there's a risk it's not doing its job right. That means your car's engine might start forcing out more emissions than it should. As we explained earlier, the whole point of a catalytic converter is to turn harmful emissions into safer gases for the environment, so if it's not working properly, it can't do that, which means you might fail an emissions test. Number three, high or low fuel consumption. Another sign of a failing catalytic converter is changes in your gas mileage, either better or worse. Most would think that better gas mileage is a win, but in the long run, it could mess up the engine and lead to even pricier fixes. The reason this is another sign is that when the exhaust gets clogged up, the same thing happens with how your engine burns fuel, making it less efficient. That means your engine has to work harder to stir up the same amount of power, which isn't good for the long run. Number four, check engine light is on. If your check engine light comes on, it's often a sign of a faulty catalytic converter. Newer cars have oxygen sensors that monitor the converter's efficiency by checking the exhaust gas levels. So if it detects a problem with the converter not doing its job properly, it sends a signal to the car's computer, which triggers the engine light to warn you. Here are some diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, that may indicate a problem with your catalytic converter, P0420 to P0439. Number five, rattling or sputtering noises. When your catalytic converter is already damaged, it will make a rattling or sputtering noise, especially when you're accelerating or the car is idle. If parts of the converter get cracked because of engine overheating or other damage, you might hear rattling sounds coming from underneath your car. Additionally, these noises could result from a rich condition where the air-fuel ratio isn't right, meaning there's more fuel than necessary. This excess fuel ends up in the catalytic converter, which causes it to raise its temperature to the point where it damages the honeycomb structure. That's why it's important to address the issue immediately to prevent the honeycomb from breaking apart, which can lead to more rattling noise. Number six, black smoke from the exhaust pipe. When your catalytic converter starts failing, exhaust gases build up in the exhaust system. As these gases accumulate in large amounts, they become denser and darken in color. So if you notice your vehicle emitting dark smoke, it's a sign that your catalytic converter is damaged. Number seven, smell of sulfur. When your catalytic converter is faulty, it can give off a noticeable smell of rotten eggs or sulfur from the exhaust, since it can't properly convert hydrogen sulfide gas into an odorless form. Plus, when the converter restricts exhaust airflow, 
it makes the engine's air-fuel mixture too rich. Burning this excess mixture creates a smell similar to rotten eggs or burnt sulfur. Number 8. Discolored Housing If you notice that the housing of the catalytic converter has turned blue or another unusual color, it might indicate that the converter is clogged and generating excessive heat. This could happen if your engine isn't functioning properly and unburned fuel is getting into the catalyst. The mixture of fuel and heat can ignite inside the converter and melt its inner material, which creates more blockages. Number 9. Engine Misfires A clogged catalytic converter limits the flow of oxygen in engines. Engines need plenty of oxygen for fuel combustion to happen correctly, so with reduced airflow, there's too much unburned gas, causing overheating and potentially leading to engine misfires. Number 10. Starting Issues when your catalytic converter goes bad, the engine ends up with more fuel than it can burn. It also creates back pressure, which makes it hard for the engine to expel exhaust fumes. If your car starts for a couple of seconds and then stalls, a clogged converter could be the reason for it. It takes a bit of time for pressure to build up in the exhaust system, choking the engine and shutting it off. How much will it cost to replace a catalytic converter? The cost to replace a catalytic converter varies depending on factors such as the vehicle make and model, the type of converter needed, OEM or aftermarket, and the location of the repair. Generally, catalytic converter replacement can range from a few hundred dollars to over a thousand dollars. The expense is primarily due to the price of the converter itself, which contains precious metals like platinum, palladium, and rhodium, Yes, it's not the cheapest repair, but a functioning catalytic converter is important for reducing harmful emissions and ensuring your car passes emissions tests. So, there you have it. The common signs that your catalytic converter might be going bad. If you've noticed any of these issues cropping up lately, it's a good idea to have your cat checked and replaced. Ensuring you have a properly functioning catalytic converter is important for maintaining your car's performance and reducing harmful emissions. If you find videos like this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you fix it.